Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a good day. Jean back with more Mars news as well as some um, inside lander updates. We'll be checking out the megalithic blocks of Utopia Planitia on Mars. So released recently this photograph taken from the inside camera on Sol 8. NASA's Mars Insight flexes its arm. So things are starting to happen and we're going to be looking at a potential anomaly I discovered there to the left. So this is from Sol 8, the IDC camera and the anomaly we're looking at is located right there. So up close we've got what looks like a rounded disc-like object very similar to one captured by the rover spirit check out the similarity in the shape of these two objects obviously the resolution of this photograph is very very low I just thought I'd throw that in as a curiosity so we'll be analyzing this photograph called bedrock and dairy crust patch in Utopia Planitia and I'll include the link below. IRISE acquired this photograph on the 13th of March 2012 at 25 centimeters per pixel. This is a crop from the low res JPEG. We're going to be looking at the anomalies discovered throughout this. Reminds me very much of uh, megalithic ruins as we see them on Earth. And uh, this area is located at 47.57 degrees north, 113.27 degrees east. In this area of Mars, very flat, very smooth terrain. And uh, to the left, a while ago I discovered more of these megalithic blocks and ruins. So we're checking out the first anomaly right there, which is about 20 meters across. And it's got this strange narrow rounded piece sticking off a triangular part. Check at these straight edges there. This is very strange, very similar to others that I've found. We'll check those out in a moment. So this narrow piece with what looks like um, a ball at the end. Uh, that ball is about, let's see, about two or three meters in diameter. This is a close-up and unfortunately this part of the IRIS photograph is slightly out of focus. So let's have a look at the other similar anomalies I've found. There's another piece with a straight edge and this long narrow piece sticking over with a ball at the end. He has another one. Check that out. He has another similar artifact and right there as well. And you can reference these photographs to find these for yourself. So check out the similarity. Next object right there. This is a huge Anomaly, it's about 25 to 30 meters across and what we've got is what looks like um, a rectangular block and uh, right next to it a triangular block. We've got what looks like a hole in this piece and a rounded carved out area with some strange part inside there. I'm not sure what that could be. So let's look at uh, one of the similar ones I've found. Also you can use this URL to get to this image. We've also got two very similar parts to each. However the angle of the two objects is slightly different. There's another one of these huge L-shaped anomalies. 
and also you can see throughout these images lots of these megalithic blocks and slabs with holes in the centers knobs all over in the centers so I'm not going to show you all the anomalies there's just too many so if you're interested please download this JP2 and check it out so let's check out this L piece which is about I'd say 25 to 20 meters long and the shorter piece is about 12 meters long and inside we've got two dark spots and unfortunately this is also in the area that's out of focus we've got straight edges and right angles to this piece Another one of these two-part objects with a rectangular plate or slab next to it. So this is about 18 to 20 meters across and that slab as well and the width of the slab is about 10 meters. So check this out, we've got a rounded piece and then there's a line separating these two parts running through there and straight edges in this piece so it's strange to see a rounded object next to a rectangular object check out the megaliths with knobs and features on them there's another L piece that we'll be zooming in on and uh, some joining of blocks there's some design to this so this is about 10 by 10 meters got straight edges and right angles and then uh, it looks as if these blocks fit together like pieces of a puzzle and uh, due to the devastation on Mars they've been moved apart another L-shaped anomaly over here this looks more like slabs more uh, megalithic blocks and slabs with little knobs of features on them to the right so let's zoom in on these blocks Okay, let's just get a reference here quick. So this block is about 20 meters long and about 12 meters wide and it's in the shape of an L and I've yet to these blocks seem to be covered in sand and dust. We can't really see the joins very nicely. Also an arrangement of blocks in this area and yeah, we've got a whole lot in a row equally sized and shaped blocks so these are all about 12 meters by 10 meters and uh, also seem to fit together like Lego blocks over here too we've got two or three rows running almost at 45 degrees to this wall over here and uh, you can see knobs and features on many of these slabs or blocks and then you, this strange structure perhaps this thing's massive it's about 25 to 30 meters across and about 15 meters wide there's a narrow object in the middle which is about 4 meters long and a meter and a half wide so let's zoom in on this what we've got here is um, strange slots cut into this larger item and then uh, this narrow rectangular piece in the center I'm not sure what this could have been 
there's also what looks like a, a little donut ring inside there maybe that's a little opening or a pipe another one of these megaliths two knobs or spheres on them and this one's about 10 by 10 meters so check that out we've got two similar sized and shaped circular domes or spheres or knobs on this one and a nice rounded edge and uh, this block over here has got a very strange cut in it not like a typical boulder or rock more megaliths with knobs and features on them throughout this image so this object is about let's see about 20 25 meters across and about 40 meters tall I check out this V shape cutting to this side we've got a nice straight edge running through there very smooth surface as well and it seems to be partly rounded up here and it looks like we've got a hole on this side and then a strange little pyramid over there so this looks like one solid object with this V shape cut into it looks machined or formed somehow check out this object there with a hole on the side or that could be a little dome or feature as well as there we're going to zoom in on this smaller anomaly right there there's multiple layering and pieces in this one so the smaller block is about 8 by 8 meters and that circular feature in the center about 4 meters in diameter so let's zoom in there so 10 by 10 this little circular feature which seems to be part of it and uh, that could be a hole right there in the center and then more three layers over here by the looks of it another one of these narrow pieces sticking out there with the ball at the end and then this rectangular object seems to have a hole in it check out these two slabs we're going to be looking at this one very smooth surface really well defined edge little sphere or ball right there in the center of this one side and this is about 10 meters across and uh, 15 to 20 meters tall So check this out, well defined edge with that feature right there. And uh, more arrangement of blocks and slabs in this area here, check out the multiple rows running through there, two rows running through here as well. We're going to zoom in on this long narrow object there which is about 15 meters long and about 5 meters wide with a hole that looks as if it could be about 1 meter in diameter and a little pyramid right there on this side we've got straight edges on these pieces there's another object there with a hole in it all these seem to have knobs or holes in them So some layering going on here two rows of um, similar blocks over here and these are each about 10 by 10 8 by 8 meters a 
check this out. Also, it seems as if these fit together pretty snugly. And here's another row over here of smaller blocks. And all of these seem to have dark spots in their centers. It's a pity this is uh, taken in the unfocused area. Two rows of here as well. And uh, a square block of here with a little feature in the center. Another one there with a dark spot in the center. So let's check out these blocks. Um, also uh, cut to fit nicely together. Very smooth surfaces as well. And then uh, this strange anomaly there. Let's see, that's about 50 meters long. It's like this triangular shape. So let's zoom in on it. I'm not sure if this is a slab or a metal plate. Check out these straight edges of here and uh, taken at a different angle. This looks if it could be 90 degrees. So let's zoom in on the northern hemisphere where I discovered these anomalies. And it's in this high rise photograph bedrock or dairy crust patch in Utopia Planitia and uh, there's some of the anomalies we checked out and from the previous video some similar anomalies there so let's look at the Topography. My process is complaining about the heat. It's really warm here today. So let's see load some CTX images you can see from the surrounding terrain this is a rather flat area pretty featureless and uh, typical of a plain anomalies we checked out is in this area yeah so with that said I think um, <clears throat> I've reached the end of the video I do thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it do stay tuned I'll be back soon with more thanks again for watching bye bye for now